I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. Flagler County now has 557 cases of COVID-19. This compares to only 214 four weeks ago. County Health Officer Bob Snyder says the county also saw its sixth death related to the respiratory virus. Emergency room visits related to COVID have been spiking since June 14th, and that is continuing. And the positivity rate for cases is 6.4 percent. That compares to less than 1 percent four weeks ago. So the surge for COVID-19 has definitely reached and continues in Flagler County. Are students who come back to school on August 10th going to have their temperatures taken as adults do because of coronavirus? Well, Flagler County Health Director Dr. Stephen Bickle said he's not in favor of it. Superintendent Kathy Middlestadt said the school district is not doing it either. We've thought through that. I'm just not sure how feasible that is. We have students getting on a bus, and I have a bus driver who needs to focus on that, not so much a temperature check. So as of right now, that's not going to be our policy. Middlestad said that the school district's job is to educate. She said that if something medical happens, there's a partnership with the health department. Middlestad said that they would handle the issue. So listen to the entire interview, download the Flagler radio app, and go to the Free For All Friday podcast tomorrow. What are the options for educating kids during the coronavirus pandemic? From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Rich Carroll. After weeks of being on medical leave, Flagler Beach's city manager is set to return to the job. John R. King reports. I'm looking forward to getting back to work. That's Flagler Beach City Manager Larry Newsom, who's due back on the job Monday. He's been on a combination of vacation and medical leave since mid-June. Newsom tells WNZF that the time off was necessary as he was in need of a recharge. But believe it or not, I mean, I've, you know, I've been in the workforce since I was out of college, and I missed four or five weeks, and 56 years old, I, I guess it was time for my body to tell me that slow down. That's the main thing. You know, I mean, we've been through two hurricanes. We're going through a virus right now, and actually three hurricanes. I mean, if you look at Doran. And so maybe I just got overworked, overstressed. Newsom says he's trying to learn how to slow down. He says he has a great staff and managers, and he plans to work with them to keep things moving in the right direction. For the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. A disgruntled former employee is arrested in a smash-and-grab style robbery at a local pizza shop earlier this year. Deputies handcuffed 30-year-old James Lassertosa after they say he shattered the glass front of Anthony's Pizza on Palm Coast Parkway and stole the cash register in April. Police say Lassertosa had been fired in February due to alleged drug use. They identified him as a suspect in the pizza shop burglary after he was under investigation for a residential burglary in May. He faces a range of charges, including burglary, grand theft, and criminal mischief. Deputies say he's known to police. His criminal history includes arrests for shoplifting, grand theft, violating probation, and failure to pay child support. A teen is arrested in connection with a series of car burglaries in Seminole Woods. Tony Magoo has the story. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office Problem Area Crime Enforcement Unit received anonymous information regarding some recent car burglaries. With us this morning for a closer look is Sheriff Rick Staley. In the F section of Palm Coast, in some cases, loaded firearms were also stolen. Our Problem Area Crime Enforcement Team made an arrest of a 16-year-old juvenile, charging him with 20 various felonies. That 16-year-old was later identified as Dakota D'Angelo Durrani, who was staying at 78 Seven Wonders Trail with an acquaintance, Trey Colburn, who was out wearing an ankle bracelet at the time. Durrani was placed under arrest and charged with multiple counts of armed burglary, grand theft, and possession of narcotics. He was booked into the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility and turned over to the Department of Juvenile Justice in Daytona Beach. Always lock your car doors and do not leave anything visible. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.